Like the name says, this is where you can play and learn with me and my friends. You're about to have a lot of fun. But you must begin by typing your first name into your name badge. When you're ready, press Enter. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> To play the games, click on the big door in the tree trunk or the big tree house. Click on my torch. Click on my torch sign to go exploring. Or my teddy bear sign to put things in order. Can you finish this line of pictures? I've already put up the first one. Can you click, hold and drag the pictures from the bottom and put them in the correct picture frames? The pictures need to be arranged from smallest to biggest. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. The pictures need to be arranged from smallest to biggest. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. The pictures need to be arranged from one to three. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Can you finish this line of pictures? When things change, they usually change in a particular order or sequence. Can you click, click, hold and drag the pictures from the bottom and put them in the picture frames? That's correct. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. That's correct. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. That's correct. That's correct. Nah, that's not the right picture for that frame. Try it. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. That's correct. Nah, that's not the right picture for that frame. Try again. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. Nah, that's not... That's correct. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. That's correct. That's correct. Well done. You've made a picture sequence. You just received a new picture piece. Can you... Fi Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Uh-oh. Here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a bat, a frog, a possum, some mushrooms, an owl. Do not adjust your screen. 
This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found an owl, a mouse, a cat, some mushrooms, a possum. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a bat, an owl, some mushrooms, a possum, a spider, a cricket, a moth. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look. You found a frog, some mushrooms, a bilby, a slug, a cat, a spider, a moth. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. Uh-oh. Here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found some mushrooms, a snail, an owl, a frog, a possum, a moth, a cricket. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found an owl, a cricket, a mouse, a possum, a slug, a frog, a spider. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a snail, a possum, a cat, a mouse, a bat, a moth, a spider. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before... Uh-oh, 
Here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a cricket, some mushrooms, a snail, a possum, a cat, a spider, a mouse. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a possum, a frog, an owl, a cat, a cricket, a spider, a snail. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a frog, a cat, a mouse, a bilby, a cricket, a spider, a moth. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a frog, a slug, a moth, a bilby, a bat, a spider. Do not adjust your screen. This is a game that can only be played in the dark. A lot of nature's creatures sleep through the day and play at night. Your job is to use the mouse to move your torch and find as many nighttime creatures as you can. But be quick before the sun comes up. When you find one, click your mouse button to take a photo. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see a night creature. Don't forget to click your mouse button when you see... Uh-oh, here comes the sun. All our night friends will go off to sleep now. Let's see your photos. Look, you found a cat, a mouse, a possum, a spider, a bilby, a snail. 
you just received a new picture piece. Do not. Click on my dollar sign to do some shopping. Welcome to my new self-service shop. You can buy anything you want from the shelves. First, click on what you want to buy, and then put one gum nut from the pile into my cash register chute. You need to pay one gum nut to buy breakfast cereal. Click on the item you want. You need to pay one gum nut to buy milk. Click on the item you want. You need to pay one gum nut to buy bread. Now you can buy some more things. You need to pay one gum nut to buy chips. Click on the item you want. You need to pay one gum nut to buy chocolate. Click on the item you want. You need to pay one gum nut to buy a pineapple. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Welcome to my new self-service shop. Blinky told me you were coming. He wants you to do some shopping for him. To buy something you need, click on the item on the shelf. Then you need to pay for it. Items on the top shelf cost two gum nuts. Items on the bottom shelf cost one gum nut. Now, here's Blinky's list. A pineapple, milk, carrots, chips. Click on the pineapple. Yes, that's a pineapple. You need to pay one gum nut to buy a pineapple. The next shopping item for Blinky is milk. Yes, that's milk. You need to pay two gum nuts to buy milk. The next shopping item for Blinky is carrots. Yes, that's carrots. You need to pay one gum nut to buy carrots. The last item on the list is chips. Yes, that's chips. You need to pay two gum nuts to buy chips. Blinky will be very pleased you helped. I'll have these delivered to him straight away. Thanks. Look, here's a new list from Blinky. Yes, that's chocolate. You need to pay two gum nuts to buy chocolate. The next shopping item for Blinky is an orange. Yes, that's an orange. You need to pay one gum nut to buy an orange. The next shopping item for Blinky is an apple. Yes, that's an apple. You need to pay one gum nut to buy an apple. The last item on the list is a pineapple. Yes, that's a pineapple. You need to pay one gum nut to buy a pineapple. Blinky will be very pleased you helped. I'll have these delivered to him straight away. Thanks. You just received a new picture piece. Thanks for sh Thanks for shopping at Jacko's Self-Service Emporium. Oh, click on my footprint sign to find out who's who, or my sailing boat sign to find out what's what. Oh, now here's a game where you can show me how clever you are. One side of the screen shows pictures of things that should be with the pictures on the other side. Click and hold the mouse to make the pencil draw a line between the pictures that go together. Now they're together. <laughs> oh, good work! 
Excellent. Now they're together. <laughs> ah, now, here's some more to try. Good. Oh, good work. Now they're together. <laughs> oh, excellent. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Oh, now, here's a game where you can show me how clever you are. One side of the screen shows pictures of things that should be with the pictures on the other side. Click and hold the mouse to make the pencil draw a line between the pictures that go together. Oh, good work! Oh, excellent! Now they're together. <laughs> oh, good work! Ah, oh, now, here's some more to try. Now they're together. <laughs> oh, excellent. <coughs> no, they don't go together. Try again. Good. Good. <laughs> you just received a new picture piece. Oh, now here's a game. Today, I want you to follow some footprints to their owners. To help, a famous adventuring kangaroo has lent us a marvellous contraption. It's called the Traco Sensor. It works like this. Here's the footprint you must follow. Whenever you see this footprint in the television frame, click your mouse button or spacebar. This will lead you to the owner of the footprint. Can you guess who it is? Oh, good work! Oh, good work! Oh, well done! These footprints belong to a lion. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Right. Today, I want you to follow some footprints to their owners. To help, a famous adventuring kangaroo has lent us a marvellous contraption. It's called the Traco Sensor. It works like this. Here's the footprint you must follow. Whenever you see this footprint in the television frame, click your... Oh, good work! Oh, good work! Oh, good work! Keep trying. Oh, good work! Oh, well done! These footprints belong to a horse. You just received a new picture piece. Click on my box sign to find out who might be in there. Or my blinky sign to find out how Blinky's feeling. Well, in this game, I think Blinky's trying to trick us. Blinky's supposed to be behind the box. <laughs> yes, Blinky is now behind the box. Oh, here he goes again. <laughs> now, Click when you see him below the box. Yes, Blinky is now below the box. Oh, here he goes again. Yes, Blinky is now in the box. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Click your mouse button or the space bar 
when you see Splodge to the right of the box. Yes, Splodge is now to the right of the box. Click your mouse button or the space bar when you see Flap below the box. Flap is supposed to be below the box. Yes, Flap is now below the box. Click your mouse button or the space bar when you see Blinky in the box. Yes, Blinky is now in the box. Click your mouse button or the space bar when you see Splodge to the left of the box. Yes, Splodge is now to the left of the box. You just received a new picture piece. My friend Blinky Bill gets himself into some pretty interesting situations and they all make him feel a little bit different. Watch this short movie of Blinky and see if you can guess how he must have felt. I think you were right. I'm sure Blinky would have felt happy. My friend Blinky Bill gets himself into some pretty interesting situations and they all make him feel a little bit different. Watch this short movie of Blinky and see if you can guess how he must have felt. I think you were right. I'm sure Blinky would have felt scared. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. My friend Blinky Bill gets himself into some pretty interesting situations and they all make him feel a little bit different. Watch this short movie of Blinky and see if you can guess how he must have felt. I think you were right. I'm sure Blinky would have felt excited. My friend Blinky Bill gets himself into some pretty interesting situations and they all make him feel a little bit different. Watch this short movie of Blinky and see if you can guess how he must have felt. I'm not so sure he would have felt excited. I think you were right. I'm sure Blinky would have felt happy. My friend Blinky Bill gets himself into some pretty interesting situations and they all make him feel a little bit different. Watch this short movie of Blinky and see if you can guess how he must have felt. I think you were right. I'm sure Blinky would have felt angry. You just received a new picture piece. My friend Blinky Bill. Oh, how I love to cook. And I'm very happy you've come along to help. First, click on the picture of the yummy thing you wish to make. The banana goes in the blender.
In goes the milk. Three spoonfuls of yogurt. Now, mix away. Bananas. A funny thing for a kangaroo, but I'm sure you'll think this is just delicious. First, click on the picture of the yummy thing you wish to make. Peel and cook the apples. Pour into a baking dish. Mix the other ingredients in a bowl. Spread the crumble over the apple. Put in the oven. Yummy crunchy crumble. First, click on the picture of the yummy thing you wish to make. Beat the eggs and milk. Mix the butter and flour in the blender. Add pumpkin, egg and milk. Roll all this on a board. Cut into shapes. Mmm, I can smell those scones already. Click on each of the ingredients to put them in the pot.
put the pot on the stove and cook for about an hour. Tasty soup for a slurping good meal. Gee, isn't it great how everyone has fun playing in the bath? Now here's a bath game where you can see what happens to the water level when everyone wants to get in the bath together. Click on one of my friends to make them go in. Now try another. Look, the bath is now half full of water. The bath is now almost full. The bath is now full. What do you think will happen if you send the last person in? Let's see. Whoa, the bath is now overflowing. <laughs> Click on the Topic button to learn more. The View of Green patch is the main navigation screen. From this map, you can visit any part of Blinky Bill's Play and Learn for Preschool. Move your mouse around the screen to select where you want to go. Each active button will highlight when you drag over it. When you decide where you want to go, place the mouse pointer over the Location button and click the mouse once. For a list of the location button destinations, click on the Game button icon on this screen. Scroll through this section to find out where each active object or icon will take you when clicked. There are 18 core activities. Most have two levels of difficulty and offer a random selection of problems to be solved. This means that each time the player returns to them, they will appear with a different set of game elements. We estimate that there are at least 200 unique game sets that can be played. Each game includes instructions from one of the characters of Green Patch and sometimes helpful tips if the player is having difficulty most of the activities are designed to develop specific skills and are structured to encourage the mastering of the respective skill. This is why we have veered towards an educational model focusing on correct and incorrect outcomes. However, always encouraging the challenged player to keep trying. Do you really want to reset all the puzzle piece rewards to the beginning? If you do, click this button again. If you don't, click anywhere else on this screen. Blinky Bill's Play and Learn for Preschool uses a two-tiered scoring system. Scoring for parents and teachers and a reward system for the player. Scoring for parents and teachers offers a progress report of the selected player. It includes how much each activity has been played and an achievement rating expressed as a percentage of correct responses over total attempts. Please note that the four free play activities do not attract a score. Rewards for the player consist of puzzle pieces that are collected as they play the score-based activities. The player must reach a certain level of proficiency to gain puzzle piece rewards. 
There are two sets of puzzle pieces to collect, one set per level. They must play all the games at the same level to collect a set. Once the player has collected a set, they can view a short movie from one of the Blinky Bill TV episodes. You can reset the puzzle rewards using the reset button on this screen. You can reach the reward section via the bridge. To quit or exit Blinky Bill's Play and Learn for Preschool, simply click twice on the trap door found in the bottom right hand corner of the green patch screen. Click on my camera sign to see who does what, or my rabbit sign to see who goes where. Oh, it looks like these animals need some help. I think they're lost. Can you help them find their way to their homes? Using the mouse, click on an animal and then guide it along the pathway to its home. Where does the horse live? Yes, this home belongs to the horse. Where does the rabbit live? Yes, this home belongs to the rabbit. Where does the pig live? That's great! All the animals are now in their homes. Oh, it looks like these animals need some help. I Where does the mouse live? Yes, this home belongs to the mouse. Where does the cat live? Yes, this home belongs to the cat. Where does the frog live? That's great! All the animals are now in their homes. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great! You've just moved up a level. Oh, it looks like these animals need some help. I think they're lost. Can you help them find their way to their homes? Using the mouse, click on an animal and then guide it along the pathway to its home. Where does the bird live? Yes, this home belongs to the bird. Where does the dog live? Yes, this home belongs to the dog. Where does the chicken live? That's great! All the animals are now in their homes. Oh, it looks like these animals need some help. I think they're lost. Can you help them find their way to their homes? Using the... Where does the bird live? Yes, this home belongs to the bird. Where does the cat live? Yes, this home belongs to the cat. Where does the chicken live? That's great! All the animals are now in their homes. You just received a new picture piece. Now, here's a fun game where you can help Blinky and his friends play dress-up. One side of the screen shows our friends in their dress-up, the other side shows something they might use as their dress-up person. Click and hold the mouse to make the pencil draw a line between the gang member and the picture that you think would go together. Yes, Policewoman Nutsy goes with the police car. Yes, ship's captain flap goes with the ship. Yes, bus driver flap goes with the bus.
Yes, Farmer Nazi goes with the tractor. <laughs> yes, Fireman Splodge goes with the fire engine. Yes, Pilot Blinky goes with the aeroplane. Yes, Bus Driver Flap goes with the bus. Yes, Truck Driver Splodge goes with the truck. Yes, Policewoman Nutsy goes with the police car. Yes, Pilot Blinky goes with the aeroplane. Yes, Fireman Splodge goes with the fire engine. Yes, Biker Marcia goes with the motorcycle. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great! You've just moved up a level. Now, here's a fun game where you can help Blinky and his friends play dress-up. One side of the screen shows our friends in their dress-up, the other side shows something they might use as their dress-up person. Click and hold the mouse to make the pencil draw a line between the gang member and the picture that you think would go together. Yes, Painter Marcia goes with the painter's palette. Yes, rock guitarist Nutsy goes with the guitar. Yes, Dr. Marcia goes with the stethoscope. Yes, Carpenter Nutsy goes with the hammer. Yes, Librarian Flap goes with the books. Yes, Painter Marcia goes with the painter's palette. Yes, Shopkeeper Blinky goes with the cash register. Yes, Photographer Splodge goes with the camera. Yes, Shopkeeper Blinky goes with the cash register. Yes, Chef Splodge goes with the oven and saucepan. Yes, Rock Guitarist Nutsy goes with the guitar. Yes, Dr. Marcia goes with the stethoscope. You just received a new picture piece. Now. Click on my broomstick sign to help me tidy up. Oh, gee, am I glad you 
you came along. I've been told you're an expert in tidying up. I'm having trouble remembering where all this stuff goes. Can you help me by using the mouse, mouse, get it? <laughs> to click and drag the things on the floor to their correct place? Use the mouse to click and drag the things on the floor to their correct place. Good. just received a new picture piece. Click on my triangle sign to have some shape fun or my castle sign to try some counting. Hmm, I need your help. I'm supposed to get some things off the shelf and take them out to the teacher, but I'm not able to reach the shelf. Can you help me by using your mouse to lift down the things I need and then put them in my trolley? Can you get just one model fairy castle? One? <laughs> Thanks. That's one model fairy castle. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. Now, I need two crayon packs. One, two, thanks. That's two crayon packs. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. Now, I need three paint sets. One, two, three. Good counting. That's three paint sets. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. Can you get down four books? One, two, three, four. Thanks. <laughs> That's four books. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. <sighs> One more load to go. Now I need five CD ROMs. One, two, three, four, five. This is the last load for Miss Magpie. You've really been a great help. Thanks. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Hmm, I need your help. I'm supposed to get some things off the shelf and take them out to the teacher but I'm not able to reach the shelf. Can you help me by using your mouse to lift down the things I need and then put them in my trolley? Can you get down four books? Can you pass down some more books? One, two, three, four. Thanks. <laughs> That's four books. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. Can you get me down eight rulers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thanks. <laughs> That's eight rulers. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. 
I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. Here's a big, big one. <laughs> I need ten blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> Good counting. That's ten blocks. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. Now I need five dolls. One, two, three, four, five. Good counting. That's five dolls. I'm just taking these to Miss Magpie. I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> Don't go away. <sighs> One more load to go. Hmm, the teacher wants nine firemen's helmets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the last load for Miss Magpie. You've really been a great help. Thanks. You just received a new picture piece. Shapes! Shapes! <laughs> shapes! 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 Ah, one of my favourite things. Everywhere you look, <laughs> you can see shapes. The trick is to know which shape is which. Do you know which is the square? Shape? Click on all the square shapes on the screen and watch what happens. <laughs> well done. You just made a huge square. Here's another shape to find. Click on all the circle shapes on the screen and watch what happens. <laughs> well done. You just made a huge circle. Here's another shape to find. Click on all the rectangle shapes on the screen and watch what happens. <laughs> well done. You just made a huge rectangle. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. Shapes! Shapes! <laughs> shapes! 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 Ah, one of my favourite things. Everywhere you look, <laughs> you can see shapes. The trick is to know which shape is which. Do you know which is the oval shape? Click on all the oval shapes on the screen. And watch what happens. <laughs> well done. You just made a huge oval. Here's another shape to find. Click on all the rectangle shapes on the screen. And watch what happens. <laughs> well done. You just made a huge rectangle. Here's another shape to find. Click on all the Square shapes on the screen. And <laughs> watch what happens. <laughs> well done. You just made a huge square. You just received a new picture piece. Shapes, shapes, <laughs> shapes, shapes, shapes. Ah, one of my favourite things. Click on my flower sign to grow some plants. Or my dingo sign to see which family is which. One of my favourite things is helping plants to grow. Here's an activity where you can practice growing your own plants. To start, click on a seed packet. You have picked the seed to grow a banana tree. Click on the small spade to dig a hole for your seed. Now click on the seed pack to plant your seeds. You'll need to cover the seed with dirt 
So click on the spade again. Your seed is planted, but it now needs to be looked after. Use the watering can to feed water to your plant. I think your plant needs more water. That's enough for now. Watch how the water helps it grow. That's enough for now. Watch it grow both into the sky and down into the soil. That's enough for now. That's enough for now. That's enough for now. Well done. That looks like a yummy banana tree. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, great. You've just moved up a level. You have picked the seed to grow a strawberry plant. Click on the small spade to dig a hole for your seed. Now click on the seed pack to plant your seeds. You'll need to cover the seed with dirt, so click on the spade again. Your seed is planted, but it now needs to be looked after. Use the watering can to feed water to your plant. That's enough for now. That's enough for now. Watch how the water helps it grow. That's enough for now. Watch it grow both into the sky and down into the soil. That's enough for now. Ooh, watch out. Here come some bugs. They want to eat your plant. Grab them and put them in the bin. That's enough for now. Keep catching those bugs. I think your plant needs more water. That's enough for now. There you are. We've grown a strawberry plant. You just received a new picture piece. Oh, mystery matching. One of my favourite games. Let's see how well you can play.
Click on the cards to find the animals that match. Excellent work! Excellent work! Excellent work! Gee, you're an expert! Gee, you're an expert! Excellent work! You just received a new picture piece! Oh, great! You've just moved up a level! Oh, mystery matching! One of my favourite games! Let's see how well you can play! Click on the cards to find the animals that match. Excellent work! Keep trying, you'll get there. Keep trying, you'll get there. Excellent work! Excellent work! Excellent work! Gee, you're an expert! Keep trying, you'll get there. Keep trying, you'll get there. Excellent work. Gee, you're an... <laughs> Wasn't that fun? You just received a new picture piece. Oh. Now, it's not often I say the words, let's have some fun. But this is definitely one of those times. <laughs> this is a most... <laughs> Funny game. <laughs> to play, all you need to do is use your mouse to click the buttons or lever on this most amusing device. Watch as Blinky and his friends <laughs> get rather mixed up. See if you can make some of these. A splodgy Blinky. <laughs> A nutty Marcia. Or a, a flapper gloop. <laughs> Have fun.
the page where you can get your reward. As you play the games, you can earn pieces of the pictures. When your picture is finished, you can watch a short movie about me and my friends. Click on the go button to see a movie. Well done! Now, let's watch this fun movie. <laughs> I am Blinky Bill, as happy as can be. I'm... Well done! Now, let's watch this fun movie. It's as easy as can be, just repeat it after me. One and one and two. One and one and two. Don't forget to come back and see your pictures take shape. Flaps outside, and he wants to know what it's like when the weather changes. You can help by clicking on the symbols on the side of the screen to change the weather. Then, watch how Flap changes. <laughs> Click around the page to see what happens when it's sunny. Oh, how I love a thumb of day. Oh, how I love a thumb of day. Click around the page to see what happens when it's raining. It's raining. I might be able to splash in a few puddles. Click around the page to see what happens when it's windy. Gee, it's very windy. I hope I don't lose my hat.
down the page to see what happens when it's snowing. good my webbed feet would be on the ice. <laughs> Hey. Okay. 